The project has been about two years in the making to get rid of the biomass which is on the ground now, which is covering the whole floor, not getting any spaces in amongst the power grass, etc., to allow other native grasses to come through. It's just to remove the excess fuel loads on the surface in a cool manner so it's not actually affecting whatever seed banks laying on the ground or other vegetation. So, nice, slow, cool burn in a traditional manner. The traditional owners back in the land, it's there, the custodians of the land, it's their land and we're out here to support them. It's important to their culture to survive and actually have those learnings and teachings within their own culture to keep life going. We deem ourselves as, as fire practitioners. Um, we're very much still on the learning, uh, I guess, journey to uh, understanding the implementation of um, fire management uh, in, in landscapes and I, I feel that um, the time's sort of right for us as traditional owners to start influencing and our I guess use of fire uh, in landscapes. Trying to change people's opinion on fire, you know when you use it correctly at the right time of year that it, it, it's not scary, it's something that we use quite regularly and frequently to help manage the landscape and I guess the quicker you can understand that you know the better off we'll be.